Hi there, my name's Hannah Beam, and you're here at the Hutchinson Art Center's online art camp. I'm the instructor, and we're going to have some fun. So, today, we're going to be talking about media. What is media? Media is simply the materials that an artist uses. It's the plural form of medium, which is kind of silly, right? Medium and media, but they're the same thing. So medium is just one, whereas media is more than one. So media, more, medium, one. Media, more, medium, one. It's kind of fun, actually. So they're the materials that an artist uses. So with all these materials that you could use, though, where do you put them? How do you take care of them? That's what we're going to do for our project today we're going to be making a box for you to be able to put your media in and so you can take care of your materials. So you can, use, you can use a shoe box for this or you can get um, a grocery bag. I got this bag from Dylan's. So here's like an example of a bag that I made that I could keep my stuff in. If you don't have a box and you don't have a bag, you can also make your own box out of construction paper. This is one that I made. I used six pieces of construction paper and I glued them together and made this box. There's lots of different templates online that you can use for making different kinds of boxes. So this is just one example of a box made from construction paper. So even if you don't have a shoe box or a bag, you can make your own box too. But I would recommend a shoe box because a shoe box is much sturdier and it has a lid that closes and it stores a lot easier than a bag or a homemade box. So why do you even need a box for your art? You don't really need one, but it's very helpful so you can help take care of your art materials. Did you know that you have to take care of art materials? You do. So up here I have some materials that I'm not taking very good care of. I have this marker without the lid on. When I put the lid on it, you want to make sure that you get it clicked. That's one way you can take care of this. But another way to take care of it is to put it where you can find it. Because if you lose your art materials, you can't use them anymore. If your marker dries out, you can't use it anymore. And you want to be able to use your art materials. So, we have to take care of them by putting the lids on and making sure they're all the way on. On glue like this, you have to make sure the lid is screwed all the way down. And crayons need put away too. So, this helps them keep from breaking and keeping from drying out, and it helps you so you can find them, so you can take care of your materials. It's so important because if you don't have your materials in usable form because they're broken or dried out, then you can't make art as easily. So, that's why we're going to make a toolbox today, so you can have a place to safely keep your art materials. So over here I have my shoe box, and in my shoe box I have all different kinds of media because we're really talking about media today and what it is. So markers. Markers are one medium. Crayons are another kind of medium. So so far we've talked about two media. Paper. Paper can be a type of medium. Colored pencils are a type of medium. I also have tissue paper, oil pastels, and these pom-poms. I really like pom-poms. They're so fun. All of these are examples of media, and each one is a medium if I use only one. Even this box can be a medium because we're going to use it today as our art project. So when you have your box you can do all sorts of different things to make it really special. It's really nice to have a special box because it helps you remember that these are special materials that need to be taken care of. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start out by covering my box with paper. That way I have a really pretty, nice surface to work on. You could also start by painting your box, or you could just color right on it, however you want to do it, whatever makes your box feel special to you. So I'm going to start with covering it with paper. 
So I have different pieces of construction paper here, and one piece won't get me all the way. So I could either um, put two pieces on like this and have a seam, or like I did with this project, where I just tore the different pieces of paper and collaged them all together. You could do it that way too. I really like how this looks, so that's how I'm gonna do it, because I think it looks organic and free and fun. But if you wanna glue it together like this, you can do it that way too. But also, how often do you get to just tear paper? <laughs> it's really fun. The box is already green, but I'm still tearing up green paper. You can tear big pieces and small pieces, random pieces, whatever you'd like. We'll do some bigger. Okay, so the next thing to do is start gluing this on. I kind of like to find corner pieces and line them up with the corners because that just makes sense to me. And I like how it feels because it still kind of keeps the edges of the paper or of the box. Let me let those overlap. Well, maybe I'll see if I have a smaller piece. There we go. Let's do a purple corner. So once we have these edges covered, we'll start gluing it down. I just like to get a little bit of a plan going first. Let's see. I think the, we'll go with the glue stick. I have the top of my box covered here. I'll stay here for now. Yeah. And what you would do is you would cover your whole box all the way around. You can even cover the inside if you want to, but I like to leave mine plain. So, once you get it covered with paper, then you can start coloring it or adding things to it. You can put stickers on it. 
So I have some stickers here. Let's see. Oh, these colors work really well with what I have anyway. Remember to make it really special and really artsy because it's your art box. So there's some stickers. And let's see. I double checked that I had the lid on my glue stick because I want to make sure I'm taking care of it. All right, I'm going to use my liquid glue now to add some pom-poms. Make sure to close the glue. Let's see. I think I'm gonna color it a little bit too. I'm gonna kinda trace this shape. write words on it. You can even put your name on it. Let's see. I'm going to use purple. So you can do all sorts of things with all sorts of media on your box. This is where I'm going to probably stop today on my box, but there's so many things I could do. Because I, st I still have the rest of the box to decorate to match the top. It doesn't even have to match the top if you don't want it to. So, remember, media is artist's materials. And they need to be taken care of. So I'm going to double check. Got my glue closed. This glue. Yes. And then I'll have to put all of my stuff away. Back into my box. So that I can make sure that it's stays safe. I'll put it away back in my box. Keep it nice and safe. There we go. That's all for today. I hope you have fun making art today.